today we are finally back to finish our London townhouse build. There have already been a few parts to this series and they are all in a little playlist on my channel so I will link that if you'd like to go back and catch up on what we've been doing. But let me just jump into the game and show you what we got so far. So this is our little row of townhouses. I've built it here in San Sequoia. And this is what the back looks like with all the different gardens and things like that. And as you can see, so far we have furnished the first three here. I've got kind of like a modern single woman. I've got a family home here that's nice, bright and colorful. And then here we've got sort of like an academic sort of dark, cozy sort of style. And today I'm going to be furnishing this final townhouse here and I'm going to be using a lot of the new Lovestruck pack. And sort of inspired by the Lovestruck pack, I'm gonna be doing this build for like a bunch of like friends and roommates. So I think let's just jump in there and get started, shall we? So I'm sort of thinking maybe like university housing or at least like some young adults living in like a house share kind of vibes. So I'm thinking like potentially like a little bit, not old fashioned, but maybe a little bit outdated and slightly plainer furnishing in the communal area. And then it's in the bedroom that the real like personality and like a lot of love struck stuff is gonna start like shining through. So I'm thinking like a small entryway and I'm really debating whether to do like a tiny room down here in the front because that is screaming university housing. <laughs> Essentially turning what used to be a living room into a bedroom. <laughs> that makes this living area really sad with like the one window. <laughs> but in the previous build, I did add an extra window, so we could probably do that again. Although maybe it's too nice, <laughs> if I'm being totally honest. So I am thinking like, go for the basics. Is that really ugly though? Like, does that sort of ruin the build? <laughs> okay, I think this is pretty good. Like, I really don't want it to be ugly, but I want it to be clearly dated, you know? That flooring might be pushing it. <laughs> like, kind of ugly, but kind of love it, you know? <laughs> I have a strong urge to put a table with benches because that's what I had my uni house. But I think the only way we can do that in the game is to have one of like these which actually just looks like a little bit ridiculous inside. I mean, it's not quite right, but this is essentially what I had. Oh, that's cursed. No, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I wanna have it be like reasonable, you know? <laughs> There's no need for it to be like fully ugly. Now, why would I bother speaking if I'm just gonna end up doing that anyway? <laughs> but these ones are too nice. So mm, now realistically, this is what you get. <laughs> But that's ugly. <laughs> Just more orange. Like we could have some fun colors going on. Oh, yeah, that's no good. I'm trying so hard, <laughs> you know? Okay, I think like having some color, but it clearly being like a low budget house is maybe a good idea. It's gonna look really weird then when some of them have like really fancy bedrooms. So, <laughs> I don't know. Feeling so unsure about this concept, but at the same time, so committed to the bit. Realistically, that is the wall we should go for. Just plain. <laughs> Although we could get tile. Oh, ugly. Maybe in a good way. <laughs> Why can't I paint that wall? Wait, what? See, I can't, I can't paint the corner. Weird. Well, it only works if I do the whole room. So <laughs> that's kind of cool, right? Yeah. <laughs> I think we can definitely uh, splurge for a plant, you know? Oh cool, the really tall plant fits in here. Well, height-wise it does. Although it might be a bit much. <laughs> Although, I don't know, I kinda wanna try it because I've just not used it yet. Okay, cool, why not? Then I'm thinking we definitely need something on the walls. Luckily there's quite a lot of like posters and stuff in this pack. So I'm sure we can find something that, I mean, that's kind of cool. Like maybe just like a few little posters like this. Start getting the vibes. <laughs> These are young people making interesting decisions. <laughs> and the funny thing about the fact that I'm choosing to make this like a uni house kind of build is that I don't even have the university pack, but it's fun. <laughs> if building in The Sims is about anything, it's about imagination, creativity, so. It doesn't really matter what packs you have at the end of the day. I'm thinking like some fairy lights. If I know anything about uni houses, it's that they all have fairy lights. <laughs> and we do have that new item from this pack that's like the twinkly stars like around the wall. These are nice, but they're quite subtle. You know, like I kind of want more obvious like string lights. There's those, there's the flip flop lights. <laughs> I felt a bit more confident that I had other string lights. Oh yeah, there's these ones, but they're on a stick, <laughs> which is probably no good. Oh, well there's these ones from the holiday pack. That's probably better. Oh, that's kind of cool. They don't work as well on that wall, but I think that's fine, maybe? Yeah, that's better. 
Okay, this is fun. This is like quite a funky house. Yeah, I think this is definitely working to be like, this is like a fun young people kind of house. And then like I said, all of the bedrooms are gonna be like very different styles. Guess I just wanna see if there's any, I mean, I can't really put too much in the kitchen, otherwise it's not gonna be functional. But I wonder if I could just sneak like some clutter on one of the counters. <laughs> oh, and a fire alarm, like I guess. No thermostat, it's just not happening. Oh, unless we get a microwave. Dare I say that may be necessary. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's good. <laughs> so sad. I shall allow a doormat. <laughs> and do we think they have curtains? Probably. Oh, they're gonna try and slot in a bad spot. Okay, that is probably fine. I think it's actually pretty good. <laughs> I think I have officially achieved what I set out to achieve. Okay, so I think I'm definitely gonna have this, like I said, be a bedroom. So I think let's just go straight in here and start on the first bedroom. They're very lucky, they've got lovely big windows. And oh, I hadn't thought about this, this is the end of the row, so I can actually add additional windows, which could be nice. Oh, weird placing with the stairs though. Okay, maybe we can't have more in the living room. <laughs> yeah, no, that's horrible, I'm not. <laughs> not having that. That's fine though, in the bedroom's good. I mean, that is just a lot of windows all in this one bedroom. But I don't think you would be complaining if you actually had to live in there. Okay, so with Love Struck, we got three beds. I'm probably gonna end up with at least four bedrooms. So at least one of them is probably gonna have to have like a different pack bed, but that's obviously fine. I think this person could maybe have this bed. I love this bed. I do actually have like a few ideas for different kinds of like bedrooms and like sims I wanna be decorating for. But for some reason I'm feeling a little bit stumped on what to put in this room in particular. I'm thinking we maybe just try to go for very messy, maybe just like chronically on a breakup kind of person. Like, I don't know how you decorate for this, but they are just always in a bad time. It's always like, how's Darren? And they're like, Darren broke up with me. And it's like, oh, next week, how's Tim? Tim broke up with me. How's Sharon? Sharon broke up with me. And then people are mixing up Sharon and Darren. Oh, anyway. <laughs> I do love this bedside table, so I think it has to be used. It's gonna be pretty hard to fit much in here, to be honest. Which of these chairs do you think looks really comfortable to cry in? <laughs> I'm wondering if they have like gamer chair. Like low key, they are a bit of a gamer. That like just doesn't fit. <laughs> I also recognize that I'm kind of saying that people who are like gamers and streamers are like sad and always get broken up with. But look, the color scheme is cute. <laughs> I just think maybe things don't work out for this sim. There's nothing wrong with them. They just also happen to be a gamer. Now, I hate that this is clipping, but equally if I scooch it out, I don't think you're gonna be able to get into that chair, you know? Um, I mean, maybe, but like, it seems unlikely, doesn't it? <laughs> um, oh yeah, I put this suitcase here. I, I, something called me to it. I'm guessing I feel a bit like they're constantly like packing their bag to go and see their latest partner. And then like they take a bunch of stuff that they're gonna leave at their partner's place and then it all goes wrong and they have to bring the bag back. But the vibes were there. I hope you see where I'm going. <laughs> right, I should probably pick a wallpaper because that's probably gonna make a difference. <laughs> I'm wondering if I wanna use any of the last of <laughs> Oh, that's a lot. Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> I do not know about that. Um, doesn't feel quite right for this sim, I don't think. But like, that's sad. There needs to be some sort of accent. Oh, fun. Oh, or a cow print. Oh, that's actually cute with this color scheme. Like some pastels and some cow print. Oh, but if I was gonna do cow print, I should have really like lent into some more pastel pop. Cause I was gonna do that in someone else's room, have like a really extra cutesy, like girly pop kind of place. Well. I'm gonna go for this for now. <laughs> oh, this curtain looks so out of place. Um, do you reckon it matters if these ones overlap? Probably, right? Barely, but it's kind of annoying. Oh, curtains are such a curse. Okay, cool. I've done that with the curtains, which I think is good, maybe. Unsure. <laughs> Literally can never make a decision on curtains, to be honest. Gonna use this little lamp from the pack as well. It's super cute. I think that'll go nicely in here. And then maybe just something on this wall, just cause it's a little empty. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, I fear that is too good. I didn't even realize we had that when I just came up with the idea of the sim. <laughs> oh, that's so sad. They like decorate how they live. <laughs> 
and it literally is the perfect color it matches the bed oh it's too good to pass up so sad so sad <laughs> okay i'm wondering if a rug will look okay in here i don't know if this is yeah it's a little large for this room really isn't it i think some sort of rug will be nice as long as it like fits okay i think that's nice i think that's oh is it better with or without actually it's like extra sad without <laughs> which i don't know if i should be um thinking that's a good thing or i've just realized the whole living area is basically just base game and the pack but that isn't what we're going to be doing for the whole build i'm sort of using any packs but just somehow i basically just use base game and love struck so far i'm actually thinking this led light or like neon light whatever it is might be nice there because it would be in the background of their stream, which is kind of cute. Just adds a little extra detail to the wall as well. And since I don't think you can be able to come down this side of the bed anyway, I'm thinking we just get like a few like toys. I think some of these are technically statues, but I think they can like pass as like cuddly toys. You think? I feel unsure about myself now I've said it out loud. Maybe just those two, kind of cute. Do you see my vision? <laughs> Please tell me you do. Okay, I think this is probably okay in here. It's like a little bit sad but that's kind of the point you know <laughs> okay let's quickly just do something in this entryway i'm not planning on doing all that much i'm thinking maybe literally just like a little entry table and like that's basically it like not going crazy here i'm really enjoying this build because so far it's sort of proving to me that there are a lot more ways to use the pack than i was expecting like i feel like you wouldn't necessarily look at this room and think oh you've used a bunch of love struck and obviously i've used other things but it's love struck love struck love struck love struck love struck you know it's it's all in there but yeah i've just used a bunch of the pack and it just doesn't necessarily look like a lot of the promotional stuff or other things I've been seeing so yeah it's always good to know that the pack isn't just like one note I think is my point <laughs> okay I've just added this little laundry pile as well cute simple <laughs> oh that messy floor thing as well with the clothes and stuff might be good in there what is that even called mess <laughs> okay well that's a little bit of a messier clothes pile <laughs> I thought it was high school years and it's not in here so I don't know <laughs> oh wait maybe cut that there you go there we go now I know this does sometimes interfere with walking around but luckily because this bed is like up in the air a bit like then if we can get down there and see it see there we go because the bed is like raised up the stuff can just get shoved under there and i don't want to make this like completely not functional <laughs> that's probably good though right that adds to the vibes <laughs> okay anyway back to the entryway no pot for like their bills and stuff pretty standard uni <laughs> uni things there we go i actually think like the clutter kit is just perfect for this because i just want it to seem a little bit chaotic in here <laughs> i have no idea why is the base of that glitching oh look from up here it looks like tables glitching weird okay i know this is kind of like bare bones but i kind of think that's how i want to leave it at absolute most i'll put a front door mat if you twist my arm about it i'm slightly concerned that this wallpaper is making it look too much like this house because they have very similar shades it's not the same but Hmm. I suppose we could just go for like white instead. Just seems a shame to lose the color. What do we think? It does still look okay. Cause it's sort of like a, a blue tone. Don't know, but then it looks very similar here. Oh, maybe the entryway gets like a slightly brighter color. Like it doesn't have to be purely just an ugly house. Yeah, I think this still holds some nice vibes in here and it looks a little bit more different to pre Now it looks like this one. Oh my God. Okay, we're gonna have to pick a lane. <laughs> there you go. Maybe if I just do this sort of light pinky peach here, do the blue there, I'm gonna just say that's different enough, okay? And it's definitely different from next door, so <laughs> that's the main thing. Okay, so moving upstairs, I've now gotta figure out the layout for up here. We need to fit in a bathroom, because <laughs> we've not got one of those yet, and probably two bedrooms up here, and then someone's gonna be kind of lucky and get a bigger bedroom upstairs probably which makes a point that we also have to figure out where the next staircase is gonna go um which i would love simply love to do like stacked but i can never get that to work like i did it over here and it took me whatever and i don't remember how i managed to get it to work oh oh stop don't worry i'm just complaining for no reason <laughs> now for the impossible task of finding the matching railing swap ah there we go there we go. Now to try and make this look not too much like this one because obviously we've got a similar staircase layout. <laughs> oh, why? Why? Why, 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 why is that happening? It's from downstairs. Well, that simply can't be right. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that actually can't happen to me. That's like not okay. That wasn't happening until like a second ago. Why? 
that's actually so not okay. <laughs> it's so dark as well. Like that's not like, oh, just ignore it. I like, actually don't know what to do about that. That's like literally like, what do I do? Well, <laughs> I was gonna have to stop and come back another day to finish this. And I think this is a nice time to cap this off for me today because this is pushing me over the edge. <laughs> I will be back another day to finish this off. And for you, that will be right now. I am back. I've taken like a day break and let's continue. So I have looked this up. I don't think there's anything I can do about the shadow, which is so annoying. <laughs> Apparently it's something to do with staircases and platforms and there is literally nothing I can do about having a staircase and a platform. So yeah. The shadow did happen in this house and it just sort of fixed itself. So I have no idea why it's being like so annoying in here, but hopefully I can at least like partially cover it or something like that. Anyway, let's just keep going. I wonder if I can keep this blue going up here. Oh, I hate it with the trim though. Well, we'll see. <laughs> Everything is terrible. Maybe you could just do like white up in this hallway. It's like kind of boring, but kind of realistic. So, okay, I think I'm just gonna start with this bedroom. So there's sort of no rhyme or reason to which one I would do first. And this is a little bit of an odd shape. I know I definitely want one of the bedrooms to have the heart bed and I'm gonna make it a proper like man cave, like this guy's like a player kind of vibe. Yeah. <laughs> I think that might go better in this room though because there is like loads of space around. So that's good. I'm just quickly sorting out the bedroom upstairs just before I get totally settled on what's happening downstairs. I think this one's gonna be a huge room. It could be two rooms. I mean, that means you could have a lot of Sims living here. And then this will be like a little communal space to then go out onto the balcony, maybe? Okay, that's good. We got a lot of rooms to furnish. Let's get on with this. <laughs> Since I am quite excited to do this, I think I'm going to do this bedroom as like the sort of cutesy pastel pop girly that I was thinking of doing. I'm not sure where is best for the bed, to be honest. I mean, if I do it here, we can get two sides of the bed. I love the peach one. That's pretty cute. I am wondering if maybe like ugly carpet is the way. <laughs> Cause like in here, that would work really well for like color scheme. I mean, this is stunning, but maybe doesn't really work for the kind of people and like vibe we're going for. Tell you what though, this wallpaper has this nice like purple kind of swatch, which I think is gonna go really nice. And then I might even do just white on the others. Interesting, maybe ugly. <laughs> maybe like a pale yellow is better. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. <laughs> oh, this works perfectly. Oh, but it doesn't fit. Oh, that's so sad. I'd have to have the bed like into the wall. Hmm. I think that just works so well for this vibe. Is that better or is it then better to like put this in the corner? No, I prefer it the other way because even though in The Sims it won't work, in real life like someone could get into the bed from this side, you know, like that is more like an accessible layout. This heart nightstand is too cute though. Oh, maybe with the pink actually. <gasps> Perfect. Now, the love struck rug would go really nicely with this vibe. But I don't know if it's gonna, f <laughs> I mean, that just blends right into the carpet. I mean, that is kind of fun. Interesting. That's actually really cute. I love that. Okay. And obviously we've got more space in this bedroom to have like dresses and bits and bobs like that. I think something like that. This is really cute. Annoyingly doesn't quite work, even though it's super cute. I think of doing like a little makeshift vanity kind of thing with a desk. Could potentially use the love struck one because this door can move. That's fine. Definitely pastel pop chair. Too cute not to use. Then I'm thinking like nice big mirror, like this one, so good. Then you can like imagine that they can sit here, do their makeup, I'll get like some clutter. I'm just gonna grab out all of the makeup kind of stuff and then I'll pick and choose which ones are best. This is cute as well, let's keep that out. Okay, so I think, I do love this item. I think that's super cute. I actually probably wanna alt place it. Annoying. And then honestly this tray might be nice as well. It's good to use like the base game stuff. Like I feel like because it doesn't actually quite look as good, like the actual style of it isn't quite as nice. I sort of like overlook a lot of the base game items, but realistically there's some really cute stuff. There we go, that's nice. And then, I mean, she could have like a laptop as well for functionality's sake. Oh, what is the strange of it one called? <laughs> oh, it's cause I'm still in high school years. There we go. Cause realistically this is the best laptop. It looks the best in my humble opinion. <laughs> I mean, that's probably too far. <laughs> there we go, cute color. There we go, that's nice. I mean, there is still space here. I don't know if like maybe a decorative kind of shell or something might be nice. Very obviously a different vibe though, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, there is the pastel pop one, but actually I think that's like maybe too much. <laughs> I mean, this is super cute. I don't know if this actually makes the, um. yeah, surely they can't walk past that. I think that's gonna make it non 
functional, which is so annoying because that actually looks really good. I mean, maybe that's good. Don't know, I've got to pick something and just stick with it. So let's, let's do this. <laughs> and then we can make it sort of look more the vibe with the clutter. The little rose is cute as well. Flowers will be nice. A little hippo, why not? <laughs> this hippo item is so cute. And I'm actually gonna do like a mini version of this little penguin guy, because I think that's adorable too. There we go, and I've just got these little pots up here as well. These are also from Love Struck, but this swatch is actually very pastel pop vibe, so I think that goes nicely. That's actually a really cute little setup there. Little decorative moment. Okay, I think we probably just need a couple bits on the walls and then we're probably done. Maybe a little calendar here is cute. And then maybe just a little gallery wall with some cutesy stuff. Love struck picture might just fit the bill as well. There we go. Might just scooch this all over. I think that's kind of fun. And moon lamp is required. Okay, I think this is a really cute room. Definitely some good bits of love struck incorporated in there. Okay, and those curtains are just the final touch, I think. Nice. Okay, now I'm gonna move over and do the bathroom quickly. It's quite a big bathroom, but obviously this is being shared by like everyone who lives there. I might I might even try and do like a separated toilet room right here, how that goes. Cause I think it would make sense to have like an additional toilet and bathroom for this many sims. Love Struck did come with some tile as well. Some pretty understated tile. It's got some other ones, but I think this just works for what we've got here. And then there is matching walls, but that is a lot, but maybe in a nice way. I have already used that, but like, it's just good. We could do fully plain, but that's giving prison. I don't know if that's even correct, but it's just giving them. <laughs> okay, I believe in my heart that this will be functional. I'm not 100% on that, but I'm like quite sure on that, you know? That only just fits, doesn't it? But that looks nice. <laughs> when in doubt, I always use the tiny living <laughs> little picture. Good for everything. Okay, I think that's good. Simple, functional. <laughs> oh, if I do this layout how I'm thinking of doing it, this is gonna be like really similar to the other Love Struck build I've done, which seems not good. <laughs> so I'm thinking to try and incorporate like the walk-in build your own shower situation because I mean it's just nice isn't it? It's just a good thing to have. Doesn't mean there's no bath in this house but I'm not planning on them having any pets or anything so I mean putting the toilet probably there is a good idea but I don't think I should have this <laughs> this window pane here in that case because that's a little bit um it's a little bit cursed. Um, this feels like such a waste of a big bathroom <laughs> Could maybe do something like this instead. Just sort of make this dead space and get rid of that. <laughs> That's probably better. And I just like those round mirrors. I think they add like a slight bit of niceness, you know, rather than it just being like, ill, gross uni house. <laughs> there we go, just a few bits of clutter. Now, there's obviously not a space for everyone's towel. That's just the way of life. <laughs> okay, cute. I think that is done. Okay, quickly, let's figure out something in this hallway. I basically just need like a rug or something to cover that up and maybe something on the wall. <laughs> I wonder if this weird skinny rug can help us out here. Oh yeah, I forgot that it's tiny. Mm. No, apparently it can't help us out. <laughs> it would have to go there. Unhelpful. Okay. Um. Oh, you know, it doesn't matter if we put a rug on top of it. The shadow will go on top of the rug. Oh my God, losing my actual mind. Okay, maybe a dark rug then is the only sort of way that we can work around that. It's just the spacing is gonna have to be so terrible. <sighs> I hate this game, I hate this game, I hate this game. I can't have black floors upstairs, like for why would the floors be different? No, that's ugly, I'm not doing that. No, no, no. Okay, well, this game sucks. <laughs> it's so bad. So, so if I get rid of the platform down here, it doesn't, e oh yeah, so getting rid of the platform doesn't help. It's, if I get rid of the staircase as well, then it goes away. Like that's any help whatsoever. Oh. Oh my god, even if I put like a wall there, okay, it's literally just, I don't think there's any saving this. No, literally nothing gets rid of it. Okay, well, we're just gonna have to live with that, okay? Delightful. <laughs> I don't know, this is just sad and not good. <laughs> That's better maybe? I don't know, let's just do that. Ugh. Do you think this wall art kind of looks like it can be one of those like cliche, cringy sort of like wall things that's like family? Friendship, love. Don't know if that makes it good for here, but I do kind of want to use it. I don't know, because in like communal houses like this, you don't really, like you wouldn't really decorate this space, but I've got to do something so it's just not completely the saddest thing in the world. It's still going to be pretty sad, but. Okay, I'm just going to do this. This is generic. Okay, now we're moving on to this room, which is going to be like, this guy's a player. He's having lots of people over. He has the heart bed. <laughs> 
oh my gosh oh maybe in this dark green and like blue that's kind of kind of hot <laughs> get like a dark carpet i mean i have the urge to put the bed like in the middle of the room but like for what you know, like for what reason really am I doing that? We can use these nice nightstands. Cause this thing, he's definitely got space for people on both sides of the bed, you know? He's got like a charger waiting for you. He is ready for having people over, you know what I'm saying? And of course, very handy. This is all gonna come in like some nice matching colors as well. So I'm thinking wallpaper wise, like probably realistically, really the snake <laughs> wallpaper, at least in like some parts, maybe all of it actually. It's cursed in kind of a beautiful way. It's so dark in here. Oh my God. We need some like lamps and mood lighting. Maybe he just has candles. Also apologies, I, I'm, often at least in some cases more gender neutral with like who i think would be in each room if i'm being so for real with you right now this is a man <laughs> so sorry to tell you oh cute wait i forgot about these little star things that might be good even just over the bed sorry just quick detour um do i mind that they overlap the rainbow i don't think i do i think that's actually fine Okay, cute. Anyway, moving on. Fancy rug. Obviously I'm using like a lot of the Love Struck stuff, but that is the entire point. So there's gonna be some repeats, but that's fine by me. I'm trying to walk the line because obviously a lot of this stuff is like quite fancy, expensive looking. So I don't want it to really look like this guy has a lot of money, like at least too much because it's like, that's not really the vibe I'm trying to put across. He's just, um, he's just a certain kind of guy. I know that's kind of in the way of the door, but I kind of don't care, you know? Oh, also apologies if you can hear any construction noises. There is literally construction happening maybe two meters that way, so. I'm debating whether this guy's actually gonna have a desk. Like, I think he should, like, <laughs> or maybe he's like fully like, this room is for one thing, you know? <laughs> he does all his homework and stuff at the table downstairs. I'm just wondering what can go down in this corner. I mean, we have got some nice chairs and stuff that I haven't used yet. Again, trying to walk the line of this not seeming like way too bougie <laughs> but maybe he's a bit of a rich kid anyway he's obviously not an actual kid let me just make that so abundantly clear <laughs> not furnishing this for anyone under age <laughs> oh, it's a little bit narrow to have two chairs which is a shame because that might be kind of like a fun idea but oh cursed 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 quite good though isn't it <laughs> Ooh. do we think you can still get to this side of the bed i would say so but sometimes they're weird so i don't know because like Having a little extra furniture might be nice. <laughs> Something even slightly functional, you know? No, simply not. That's probably too far, right? <laughs> Where's the line? Maybe one of these LED ones though, or neon, whichever one it is. I keep, feel like I keep saying the wrong one. I mean, <laughs> maybe that one's good. It's kind of a bad color though. Although maybe it's nice to have a little extra color. I didn't mean for this to be a room that was so much just love struck stuff. <laughs> I've added a few little, um, you know, he's ready for you to stay sort of stuff. Um, I'm wondering if maybe final idea is like to have weights. Cause I was imagining him being kind of a gym bro as well. And that has not really had its moment to shine in this case. Maybe literally just like right there by the door as well. Like maybe you can get through that door. Maybe you can't, who is to say. <laughs> I'll scooch it over. You should be fine. Maybe scooch that a little as well. That realistically should work. I was thinking of having some bits like this, but like that kind of ruins the vibes, does it not? I think maybe this is good. Curtains, before I forget, curtains. Oh, I forgot we had these bead ones. Oh, that's good. Interesting. <laughs> that's so bad. Just have it like fully shut off. Yeah, I think that might be good. <laughs> wow, I mean, good for him. <laughs> okay, moving on, shall we? Right, okay, so now we are heading upstairs to the final floor, which we literally have two more bedrooms. Oh my God, <laughs> oh my God. I mean, granted they're smaller bedrooms, but still. <laughs> Realistically guys, this is going to end up being a <laughs> three sitting build for me. <laughs> and I'm sort of at a loss at what story to tell next, if you see what I'm saying. Like, I don't really know like who I wanna have in these bedrooms. It's an unfortunate width really because one of the rooms just has to be kind of sad and skinny. <laughs> I mean, I could make it longer, but then it's just even longer, but still sad and skinny. So <laughs> I don't know how much that really helps. 
I don't know, I'll leave it as it is, and then if it needs more space, we can always do that. I don't know if I can do a double bed in this room though, which is kind of, oh I can, it's a bit sad. I might just do it up against the wall. Um, I'm thinking like basic of the basic. This is like one of those people <laughs> attempt to keep this one gender neutral. <laughs> Um, no style. Fashion, never heard of it. Interior design, what's that? <laughs> so I think we're really gonna go like, basic of the basic, got literally everything from Ikea, but not for like, the sake of money, for the sake of, well, where else would you get anything, you know? <laughs> this is a sad room. <laughs> there are so many wallpapers in this pack. It's quite good because actually like, oh no, that's too much. <laughs> it just means there's like so much variation, like, even though I'm doing this whole build like primarily with this pack, I'm still not even gonna like scratch the surface. Oh, maybe he just like kept the default walls. Yeah, yeah. I said he, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> That's cute though. Oh, but I don't want him to have style. Mm, again, unsure if that's gonna clash with the bed or not. I hope not, because that is the only way to get into that bed. <laughs> I think we can scooch some things. I think he's got kind of a nice computer. Yeah, that feels good. <laughs> Maybe like some work out on the desk as well. No, you, you see how this suggests that he's maybe studying fashion? No, 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 no. Cars, why not? <laughs> oh, this is actually interesting. Maybe like into architecture? Couldn't hurt. <laughs> right, I should probably use something other than a plain white wall from Lovestruck. <laughs> Musician? Don't know if that really fits the stereotype, but equally we could, you know, lighten up on the guy. <laughs> You know, he's an architect. He's maybe good at a guitar. He's got some qualities. <laughs> oh, maybe posters would be good in here. What's the selection though? Oh, that's quite a bold poster when you look close. <laughs> I was like, oh, the guitar, that's cool. Is it? <laughs> Is it cool? This might be good just to add a bit of color. It doesn't have to be completely devoid of any sort of life in it. <laughs> Oh, why is that so high on the wall? Simple mirror. I was also thinking like maybe like a small plant on the bedside table or maybe on the desk actually, but like you best believe it's fake. <laughs> there we go. That's really scooched into the wall, but it's, oh no, it's clipping a little bit. There we go. Now I think you'll definitely be able to get round. That's fine. Maybe a, a hint of blue. <laughs> this is so sad. Maybe a bit of blue on the mirror as well. That's better. <laughs> He's into fish? No. <laughs> that is quite musical but I don't know if that's a good poster set for in here. I don't know. This guy's into architecture and music. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Bizarre choice by me, but there you go. Moving on to the next one. Now, I was wanting to use the cheetah print, like probably this one, but there's so many others. Like I've not used this one yet. That is quite fancy. There are also those bead curtains, which I would really like to use. This is leaning up very close to the vibes of the downstairs bedroom with like the subtle blues and things and the animal prints so maybe a different color would be good we can change the carpet as well it doesn't have to stay this color we could just do like a white maybe i like the idea of doing like some pinks and reds in here maybe like that that's kind of nice oh i tell you what i haven't used the other love struck bed yet have i this is our moment <laughs> we must use it okay and where should we do that maybe on this wall could i ever go slightly lighter or keep it a bit more dark that does match a bit better, doesn't it? Have to use the uh, savior tiny nightstands. Oh, do they come in a good color? Might have to be the just very dark. It's kind of like a red tone wood, which actually matches quite nicely. I feel like a nice big piece of art over this bed. Like, I don't think I've used this one yet. Oh my goodness. That is large. Don't know if maybe it's a bit too big. Mm. It's not really good vibes in here though. Hmm, that's unfortunate. I don't like that one either. Okay, maybe something not from the pack then because this, you wanna talk about a lot. I mean, if I sized it down though, maybe I could do two of this one. Please ignore the insane price <laughs> that I'm just spending on artwork. Ooh, very fun. Not really where I thought I was going with this room, but this is pretty cool. This person is fiery they are <laughs> they love love <laughs> they're passionate they're sad they go through it all <laughs> oh this person doesn't have a dresser all their clothes are in there <laughs> oh that's funny never mind i did already use this one downstairs but it's just nice it's one of my faves oh that's a good wood color though actually that might be better just so that we use some different stuff um oh i do want everyone to have a desk though 
I wonder if this goes at the end of the bed. I think that's still very much walkable. Okay, if we put this here and then a desk there maybe. I'm wondering if the dark green is nice because it kind of pulls in like a different color, but like this has sort of got like bluey green vibes. But I don't know if it actually works. It just kind of, it does look pretty good though. I'm gonna let that sit and see how I feel about it because I'm not 100%. <laughs> they can have a laptop. Okay, I think this is pretty good. Just sort of some books, some little bits and bobs. I've put this as well, which is maybe like a little bit much. <laughs> I think it gives a good vibe, you know? Then we just need some stuff on this wall and we will be done in here. Oh, that's probably nice in here. And then just something on this wall. Maybe a mirror might be good. Yeah, that's pretty good. And maybe a plant or something. It just feels a little bit bare on this wall, but I don't want to do too much like too much artwork, you know? Hmm. <laughs> Plants in this pack are pretty big. <laughs> Don't know about this. I think that door will still work. I think that's pretty nice in here. Again, that went like a complete different direction than I thought it was going to. <laughs> sort of wondering if a rug is necessary. Ugh, famous last words. I think, is it better with or without? It's probably better with, right? I always think that like, I'm always struggling to like add in rugs and thinking like, oh, maybe it looks better without, but like realistically, I think most rooms look better with a rug. Okay, cool. I think we are done in here. Okay, as predicted, this is gonna have to be a three sitting build for me. <laughs> so I'm going to go and I will be back and for you it will have been no time at all. Okay, hello, I am back ready to finish this build. So we've essentially just got to do this communal area, this balcony, and then the rooftop. So we've got some fun stuff to finish off with. <laughs> I can only apologize about this room. I mean, <laughs> it's got what, like three love struck items? Oh, one of them is the plain white wallpaper anyway. I was wondering if, yeah, maybe it makes more sense for this downstairs entryway to also have the white wallpaper, which I know is like, makes it a little sadder, but you know. I also just wanna put a piece of artwork here and then I'll be done. Which honestly, I'm thinking to just copy this one. Highly realistic. <laughs> Cause I'm thinking this is stuff that's just been put there by like the landlord, right? This room is scary. <laughs> the juxtaposition between this room and that room is intense. <laughs> I was really hoping to use this item actually and I'm wondering if it's like works for this room, but like, I don't know. This room is so nice with like the fancy artwork. It feels a bit like, eh. I don't know. It's a bit of a weird one, isn't it? <laughs> okay, so in this area, I'm thinking we could actually use this ugly rug because <laughs> that actually fits the space quite nicely. And I'm not 100% sure what to have up here that feels like even vaguely realistic. <laughs> How on earth are you meant to find that? I remembered that there's that little Herbert, like that's what he's called, isn't it? Herbert Hart. Yeah, look, these are all items that don't even come up when you search everything in Lovestruck. So all of these items not tagged even under being in the Lovestruck pack. How bad is that? I'm thinking we maybe put one of the sad hearts down in this room because we've got this little collection of toys. So there we go, that's cute. And that's nice because the yellow is like, Oh, the yellow is kind of bright in here. The only other thing is that, but like, this is the good color for this room, but that one's happy. That's not okay. <laughs> this is a sad room. <laughs> Maybe it's smaller. Yeah, that's probably good. Anyway, I'm not entirely sure is my point what to put in this area. Cause this isn't like a particularly fancy house, you know, as we've been saying, <laughs> but like maybe someone brought their treadmill. We haven't used this game yet. We could have like, I don't know. I'm wondering if maybe we have a game table, but then you can't put this game on the games table. You know, maybe we could have a game table on the roof. We could just have a regular table in here. Like maybe this is like an additional just seating area. That's kind of weird, isn't it? <laughs> Very weird. I don't know how this game has to be placed so that it's usable, but I'm just gonna chuck it in the middle of the table, I guess. Is this weird? It kind of feels really weird. <laughs> maybe if there's like a little bit of additional seating so it's not literally just like the two standoff like sofas. Cause I know I've been saying like, obviously I'm wanting this to be kind of like stinky uni housing, but equally like if your uni house has a balcony and a rooftop like it's already pretty good <laughs> these people clearly have money i mean look at some of their bedrooms like please the stack of pillows is probably nice as well i was thinking like beanbag but this is maybe best we can do oh that's actually nice that's helping i do kind of like the idea of keeping the treadmill here i think they can probably still walk there <laughs> realistically this guy he brought his treadmill and put it up in the communal space <laughs> we know it to be true this is also from the pack does this look natural pears is that, is that good <laughs> no obviously not <laughs> i mean maybe the leaf ones are better because it's just like so generic 
Yeah, honestly, this is probably good. I think that's a nice use of the space. Still using like a few pieces from the pack and stuff. And then out on the balcony, I mean, what are they gonna have? Oh, they've also got a garden. Damn, they've got a lot of outdoor space here. Okay, I mean, having a little bench is probably a nice touch. Like, oh, you know what would be nice as well? From the pack, we have that new wall plant, which is nice. Oh, there's these. That's not what I was talking about, but that's probably nice though. Yeah, I like that. And then we can get some lighting as well. Don't know if the floor needs changing. Probably not. Like, concrete is probably fine. <laughs> Unless we wanted to do a tile from the pack. Yeah, that's actually probably pretty good. Having these instead of like actual lounges feels very uni. <laughs> Must be done. Probably a cooler up there as well. Obviously gonna have the blanket. <laughs> I mean, obviously there's like the telescope, but realistically, do any of these people have a telescope? I mean, that's probably good enough. It doesn't need to be anything that crazy. And then we will do the rooftop next, where I'm thinking like, yeah, blanket is a necessity. <laughs> or the green one is nice. I like that color. And then yeah, I'm thinking they have like a couple of these, like instead of like proper sun lounges, have a little cool box so they can keep like drinks and stuff up here. Um, what else could they have? Oh, I was thinking about doing the game table, wasn't I? That's good. And then I think let's use these um, fold out chairs again. Oh, maybe in one of the more like dirty looking swatches cause they like keep it outside all the time. <laughs> well, it's like, I could just make something really nice with this pack and I'm like, no, no, no. <laughs> gross build. I don't know, I'm tempted to do like a plant or something just because it's like, it's a little bit sad if you don't. And probably some lighting, right? It's gonna be like pitch black up here. I mean like that's probably cute. Just like a few little, few little things. There is also this item which could be good potentially. Oh, that's a fun color. It does look a little weird when you like sort of pull out from the situation, but I don't know, I think it's fun. Like I said, they've clearly got a little bit of money, so <laughs> they could probably splurge on like a few decorations for like their party house. Okay, I think that might be everything then. I don't wanna overdo it. Let's just quickly do the garden. Oh, there are these lights. Is that probably better? Just so we use more stuff from the pack. Sort of put that a little bit more central. Okay, I think that's nice actually. Just good to use pack stuff. And then we can have one of those by the door as well. Okay, there you go. There is a lot of light up here now. Cool, that works. And then I'm not sure what else to really put in the garden. I was genuinely thinking about just using the other blanket. <laughs> Looks more like a little picnic blanket might be cute. Yeah, I think I'm gonna leave it default as well. I like the gingham. Maybe this plant. And then I was thinking literally just have like a few bushes, like just something super simple that doesn't need like upkeep, you know? <laughs> Honestly, that might just be good. Like keep it super simple and then just do a similar thing out the front as well. Yeah, that's good. Literally just simple stuff. I don't want anything too crazy on this one. Okay, now I just want to do final touches around the sort of entire lot. So you can see I've obviously done like a tree and some bushes over here. I wanna do some similar stuff on the other side as well. Grab another one of these trees as well. Oh yeah, I totally could have added more windows as well. And I just didn't. <laughs> like this room could have another window because it would just be there, which honestly might make sense to do. I feel like if you could add an additional window, why would you not? you know? And then where else could you get one? I guess in this room, but I've already done this nice gallery wall, which I quite like, and she already has two windows. Probably don't need a window straight into the shower. <laughs> this guy definitely doesn't want more windows. <laughs> okay, that might actually be the only good place to add an additional one, but I think it's good to add it. I think other than that, like the side is fine. So I just want to do some terrain paint real quick, and then I think I'm done. Just adding a little smidge. Okay, I think we might be done. Any final things I wanna add? <laughs> I mean, I think like the lot is pretty much full up, so I don't know that it needs more than just like a couple trees and bushes, you know? Okay, so let's just take a final look through this house. So we come in through the front door, we've got this simple entryway. I do like the storytelling with that kind of sort of cluttery stuff on the entry table though. Then come through into the communal space. Again, I think this is good. I understand obviously this is maybe not a nice house, but I love the storytelling of it. And we've managed to fit in a lot of the pack, which is really good and was like my main aim. So we got like the little kitchen space, dining area, little living room. Then we have the sort of simple garden with just the blanket. Nothing else needs to be said. <laughs> and then we have this downstairs bedroom, just sort of like our chronically heartbroken sim. <laughs> 
which I think is really nice. I love the combo of this like cow print with the like light purples and blues. I think it's really nice. So then we head upstairs, we have the <laughs> sad hallway. We have the sort of toilet room and then the main bathroom as well. And we've got our two very opposing sims here. We've got the um, absolute player, <laughs> barely a bedroom, more like a den kind of situation. <laughs> But honestly really fun a great use of a lot of stuff from the pack so i'm very happy with that <laughs> and then over into the super cutesy pastel pop vibes but again still using a lot of stuff from the pack loving this cluttered shelf here we've got the desk and the mirror from the pack just oh, i love it i have really enjoyed actually getting to see how well the pack just combines with all the others which i was a little bit surprised about just given how wacky some of the items are. <laughs> then we go through here and upstairs and we've got this little communal space, little sitting area and then we have our two final bedrooms, a sort of very simple musician architect maybe? <laughs> Again kind of like a not good room but I love the storytelling of it so that's fun and then obviously through into the final bedroom, which is giving like a toned down version of this room. You know, it's like definitely got some vibes going on, but <laughs> sort of a bit more romantic. <laughs> but yeah, good vibes in here as well. And then we come outside, we've got the very simple balcony, which is just good to have, because say if you were gonna play in this, like you could replace, you know, the telescope for something else. You could put planters out here. It's always good to have a nice changeable outdoor space, I think. And then we come over here, so this is how you get up onto the rooftop. So technically, I guess this is like accessible to anyone. <laughs> like, there's nothing cutting it off, but obviously if you were playing here, you would just allocate this as this rental unit and nobody would go up there. Or you could keep it communal and have all your neighbors come over. <laughs> but yeah, we've got another blanket. We've got some fun lights. We've got a cooler, some lounges, game table. Again, very changeable, multifunctional, and also good for like, if you wanted to like host parties in this sim house, House, then like a great area to have put a fire pit up here why not you know <laughs> okay so I think that is this whole build finally finished I have spent so many hours <laughs> on this entire thing and I'm so pleased with it I think it's come out so well oh and I've just realized something those roof pieces are not done there we go <laughs> But yeah, I think we are all finished here. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do give this video a thumbs up and obviously subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more content from me. I do lots of building and I also play a legacy challenge. So we've got lots of fun things going on. And if you haven't seen the previous videos in this series or the different townhouses and you're interested, there is a playlist on my channel so you can go and check all of the previous videos out. But yeah, I'm off now. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.